guys i am going to show you right now something pretty cool um i'm going to show you how to hide uh sorry change the background color um on the pages of the device so that the the buttons that are not hidden uh pop out really well so uh, for selection so as you can see i have a bunch of um buttons hidden here there's gray one they're gray uh, i'm gonna sh remind you how to hide so you're gonna go to menu and edit page then you go to menu again and you're gonna hit hide mode and let's say I want to hide uh, tired. So I'm gonna hit done and then you can see tired isn't there anymore. But I do want that to be an option for my, my kiddo, uh, my user. So I'm gonna edit the page again and I'm gonna go to menu and hide mode and then unhide it. I'm also gonna unhide frustrated because I want that to be an option. I'm going to hide big and little and new and old for right now. Um, they're never gone. As long as you just hide them, they're not gone. And you can, you know, you can unhide them so that they're available for use at any time. So I'm going to hit done. So again, as you can see, the ones that are hidden are gray. So if you want to give more of a contrast, you can um, change the background. So you're going to hit menu and then you're going to hit edit page. Uh, now you're going to hit menu again, and this time you're going to hit page style override. And then up here you can see override background color, you can turn on. And then under background color, it's going to give you a ton of choices. Um, I'm doing this to create more of a contrast between the hidden buttons and the ones that are available to you. So I'm going to choose black because I feel like that's the best one for contrast. And then I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to hit done and see what happens, it's pretty cool. So you can, um, now like there's a huge contrast and the child can really see the options and happy, they can hit them. Um, I'll show you, I'll just do one message. Um, I still have mine, just a, just a heads up, I still have mine on the highlight. So <clears throat> I did an earlier video on how to highlight messages once you uh, hit the sentence um, strip for it to say the message. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, just giving you a heads up that mine is still on highlight it, highlight and enlarge. So when I make this, when I do this message, you're going to see that. So we can say, um, I, I am, am, and then go to describe. And let's say I am excited, excited. to show you this video. Um, and then, so when you hit the, for mine, again, mine is enlarged and highlighted still. You don't have to have that. I just didn't take it off yet. So when I hit, I am excited. I am excited. It pops up like that. And then I have to tap it again. So, um, if you want to learn how to do that, you can watch one of my previous videos. Um, but if you just wanted to have the regular, uh, message that's not enlarged and highlighted, just say, I am excited. Then just leave it that way. All right, so I hope this helped. And um, guys, let me know what else I can do. Please subscribe. If you like my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And if you like the TikTok channel, please follow. Uh, comments, questions, just let me know what I can do better and how I can help. All right, thanks, guys. Have a